Today's video is a short one. I just want to show you how to use one of these. This is a caging bolt. Caging, C-A-G-I-N-G, caging. It sounds like a spelling bee. This bus needs to get towed. It's going from our place near Flagstaff up to Las Vegas. It's a Freightliner with a Mercedes engine. And the Mercedes engines, the MB series, are great engines until you have to get somebody to work on them. Uh, Flagstaff is not a small town, and we're right off I-40 freeway, and we've got a lot of truckers coming through. There is a Freightliner factory service center in Flagstaff, and they won't touch this engine. Uh, they'll work on any Freightliner except a Freightliner with a Mercedes. And we had another mechanic who came out with his code reader, he can't uh, get the Mercedes codes diagnosed or deciphered, and he called Mercedes. They wouldn't touch it. They wouldn't give him any information. So anyway, unfortunately, this nice, cute bus belonging to a super cute couple has to get towed, and I'm prepping it so they can do that. So we have to cage the brakes, which is releasing the brakes so it can get towed. And before I do that, you want to chalk the wheels because as soon as you release that brake, even if it's on pretty flat ground, you're going to be under the bus and you want to have no opportunity for it to roll away over you. Welcome down below the bus with me. So this is your rear brake assembly. This is a spring brake and this one has a big ass heavy spring in here that is pushing on the rod and that rod or shaft down there pushes on the slack adjuster, that vertical arm that rotates around that bolt or pin that goes through to an S-cam and that's what spreads your uh, brake shoes apart inside the brake drum, which you can just barely see back there. So anyway, right now the brake is applied because there's no pressure here. So the beauty of modern spring brakes is, is if you lose pressure, air pressure in your bus, that air pressure goes away. I mean, it leaks out and the spring then will push that shaft back, applying your rear brakes. These are only on the back of your bus. And then when you push the knob up front to release your brakes, what you're actually doing is filling this canister with air pressure on this side, which pushes back against the spring and releases your brakes. And then when you apply the brakes, that air pressure then pushes the shaft back, but the spring is held back, restrained by that air pressure. But right now, this bus doesn't run, and we have to tow it, and so we need to do what's called caging the brakes, which is pulling that shaft and this whole plunger assembly in there back against the spring. You cannot get in this side of the brake assembly. This is crimped on permanently on modern spring brake cylinders, but on the old ones, they had a band clamp on this side, just like that side. And if you took this off, there's enough force in that spring, enough energy to potentially kill you. So now they crimp them on permanently. Just be real careful if you're ever working on an old bus and it's got two clamps on here, you never want to take off the clamp on this side. So we've got to get something in this hole. Normally they have a rubber plug in them, but these are missing. And it's called that caging bolt. And that caging bolt is what I showed you on the bench in there. When I go pick up a bus, I always take a couple caging bolts with me because I don't know if they're actually present. But in this case, they are here and they're mounted on the side of the can or cylinder here. But they get used and sometimes they're not replaced. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to use the one that's on the brake here because it is going to go away with the tow truck when they come. So before you can move the bus around on your own property, you got to cage the brakes. You can either apply air pressure and often on your bus there will be a fitting somewhere where you can put an air hose or you cage the brakes like this and then you can roll it around but you got no braking. So anyway, that's just stored in here. See, that's the same thing that I had And it goes in this end here, and you gotta play with it to get it in the slot. 
there we go, and you turn it. There, now it is locked in. So it went in, and then I rotated it, and you rotate it clockwise, so when you are tightening this nut, it tends to keep those little tabs on the bolt locked in place. The threads are a bit bunged up here, so I can't quite spin it on. Now your front brakes don't have these. Your front brakes only have a single air hose and a single chamber. And now as I tighten this, you'll see it withdraw this back there. Takes a bit of force, but you can do it. These are usually, not always, but almost, I think 90% of the time, they are three quarter inch nuts or nuts that need a three quarter inch wrench. That's not a standard thread. That is an Acme thread. You'll notice it's actually square. So you're not gonna find a nut to fit that at most hardware stores. All right. Anyway, quick video. I just want to show you how to do this. I'll do this on the other side. And then I could roll this around on my property. Now, if you have to get it towed and you have a manual transmission, you got to make sure your bus is in neutral. If you have an automatic transmission, then the tow company will either disconnect the drive shaft or they'll pull the axles out uh, out of the end, the sides of your hubs there and pull them out of the differential. That way your transmission is not spinning and potentially getting overheated while it's being towed down the road. But that's a separate step. I just wanted to show you the brake caging. Be safe. Thanks for watching.